The question of ethics in the age of artificial intelligence is currently carried out under the umbrella term AI alignment. How can we align artificial intelligence with our human values and norms? That's what we're gonna look at right now. So let's start with our artificial intelligence framework. And we said artificial intelligence in general nowadays you can replace with the word machine learning. The vast majority and everything that is controversially talked about is machine learning. That's not all AI, but in the current paradigm, the end of the AI winter, the spring certainly came about extremely quickly with the advancement of machine learning, especially neural nets and or transformer neural nets. But all of them go according to this framework. We have a longer lecture about that, so please check that out. And basically, what we said there is that traditionally we have data, there's something that we observe about the world. These are observations that we perceive with our senses. So we see things, we feel things, we perceive things. That's just observation data about the world. And we have a way to go about it. Some kind of recipe, some way what we do with what we observe, some kind of behavior or social function that we execute in order to get somewhere. We, we compute something. That's the traditional framework of actually of doing things. That's also how we teach in school, right? You, you, you are given some data, some numbers, and then some way to combine them, and you find the result. Now, we said the machine learning revolution is so powerful because it turned this entire knowledge framework on its head. It's that the input is data and the output. So you observe something about the world and you give the machine where you want to go. And then the machine figures out what's the best way of getting there. So what this Doming Pedro Domingos calls it the master algorithm. What the master algorithm of machine learning does, it computes the best algorithm. That's why it's the master algorithm. It, it automates knowledge creation. We just say, here we are, and that's where we wanna go. Now machine, figure out the best way to get it. And there are many ways that lead to Rome. You can go this way to Rome, or you can go this way to Rome. And of course, one of the most exciting promises of the artificial intelligence paradigm nowadays is that you can go out of distribution. So you train it with some data, but then you hope to learn something new from the machine. The machine can combine things in ways we never looked at. So in theory, we could feed it with all our world's problems, hunger and war and the climate crisis and racism. And we say, well, how can we solve all of them? How can we make the world a better place? How to go about it? Now, the main concern here is that any machine that's intelligent enough to go out of distribution, and that's a technical term, in order to solve problems that we could never solve, could also get to conclusions that we have never foreseen. And maybe the machine gets to the conclusion that, hey, you know what, in order to solve all of that, what would be the easiest thing is, for example, to get rid of you and mission accomplished, got rid of the hunger and the climate and the racism problem by getting rid of all humans, for example. So, so that's the danger that we are dealing with right here. And all of this, in a nutshell, is called AI alignment, the alignment with artificial intelligence. And it touches actually on the cornerstones of traditional ethics. 